Hey, what's up? Um, right now, it is 11.18 on July 4th. My birthday's in three days. That came up fast. I thought it was like July 1st. Um, and I'm in my grandma's house. This is my grandma's house. My grandma's dog. Well, you can't see him, but he's there. Uh, yeah. Um, what's his right there? There he is. Uh, yeah. Um, I just wanted to talk about the realities of traveling because it's great, but it's definitely not what I expected. Um, yeah, from like watching all these YouTube videos and stuff. So I just want to talk about it. Also, I went in my grandma's backyard just now and I found a lemon. She has a lemon tree, which I did not know about, which is very cool. Um, yeah, so the realities of traveling, dude. So basically, I'm gonna talk about how it was for me, but the first week was fucking amazing. Um, it was amazing, it was really good. Or at least I remember, like, no, it was amazing. Um, like, I did a lot, I saw a lot of people, you know, I, like, I did a lot of things. Um, and I worked myself really, like, to the bone. Like, I did too much. Um, so that, at the start of the second week, I was exhausted, like, exhausted, exhausted. Um, Basically, I came back here, and I didn't do anything for, like, two or three days. No, for, like, two days. And then I started doing things again slowly. But I got pretty depressed. I'm not going to lie. Like, I think I think when you travel, it's very easy to, like, lose yourself and, like, lose a lot of habits that you built that, like, keep up your mental health, you know, and keep up, like, your relationship with yourself because you're in a new environment and because, like you're doing so many new things that and there's no routine you're just like kind of out of your routine in every single way um so you kind of lose a lot of things um which 100 percent happened to me i like completely stopped doing everything i was doing to like to take care of myself um i even like forgot to eat for like an entire day you know um which is pretty funny but it's not that good like i know when i don't eat i get very tired and like very grumpy even like i don't get hungry I just get very grumpy um so I know that I have to eat and I know that I have to drink I got constipated because I wasn't drinking enough or eating the right foods and stuff and like you know it's it, you have to really really be cognizant of it oh that smells so good I haven't smelled it yet oh that smells so good um but yeah you have to really be cognizant of that stuff and because I wasn't doing any of that stuff I was having a lot of fun you know like for me, I'm someone that I, I really like when my routine gets broken a little bit and then I get to fix it again. Like, that's not fun, but, like, keeps it interesting, you know? Um, just being in a routine is kind of boring to me. But this was a little bit too hardcore, and I kind of lost all semblance of a routine, especially because here, like, I'm not staying in one place for a long time. Like, I'm going to different houses pretty much, like, every two or three days. So it's hard. It's, like, really, really hard to get a routine and you know whatever um and I think when I travel because I've never traveled like for a long time I've only traveled for like a few weeks at a time I think um I kind of am in the mindset of like okay we do everything we can and then you know when we get back home we'll chill out but the, I'm not going back home like this I'm here for two months like I think I kind of it, I'm learning how to pace myself and how to really like live in a place um and it's honestly very fun it's everything like listen i did get as much as i did get depressed and like i did get very sad um for many reasons one of them being the routine thing which i don't think i noticed until after um and two being of course i miss my parents so much like and my neighborhood and my friends and my neighbors and all of that stuff like i really miss i i enjoy where i live a lot like i really like it there um, so to leave that when everything was so good, like, so good, I had friends, I had, like, I was, I had a dog walking thing, like, I don't know, a lot of things that were really working for me, and then to leave that was a hard decision, and it's hard now, you know, like, I miss it a lot, um, but at the end of the day, I know it's something that I had to do, and I'm, I'm proud that I did it, I'm happy that I did it, like, I'm having a great time here, but it was hard to do, um, so I'm missing that and, you know, my friends and just, like, 
I think when you travel, especially alone, there's a sense of like always being alone, like always being lonely, but never being alone. And I think it's super similar to how I felt at the beginning of the pandemic, because I was always around my parents, but I was never like, I would like, I was always around my parents, but I was always lonely because I was never around my friends or like never really had like alone, alone time. Um, and I think it's kind of the same feeling here. Uh, you know, this is the first time I'm like alone. Like my grandma and my uncle went to a funeral, which is sad, but like, um, I, this is the first time I'm, I'm like alone, alone in a house in over a year, honestly, because of the pandemic. But like, yeah, I don't know. It's cool. And I think when you don't have that like fully, completely alone time in your own space, like fully relaxed time, you know, um, get kind of sad. You know, that's part of my self-care routine, at least like it, it really is um, to like have a few hours alone for myself every day, like just in my own space, you know, it's important to me. So that I've, I've I'm kind of settling into that, though, like. I really feel like my room, my grandma's house feels like my room, you know, it feels like my space where I can just relax a little bit, which is nice. Um, it didn't feel like that before. It only recently started feeling like that, like two days ago, uh, which is super nice. But now I'm leaving. Now I'm leaving my grandma's house to go to my cousin's house. So it's like, you know, it's annoying. But it's, it's like having constant sleepovers, which sleepovers are fun for one night, right? Like you get to be with all your buddies, whatever. But like, then you, uh, uh, but like, then you actually have to sleep, you know? And then you have to go back home and like sleep, but I can't do that. Anyway, I'm not complaining, it's fun. I'm just making observations. Um, Cause this isn't what I thought it would be like at all. Like I didn't even take into account this side of travel. Like it didn't even cross my mind. Um, I knew that I would be homesick, of course. Like I love my parents. I, I they're like my best friends for real. That's so cheesy, but like it's true. Like I love them, and um, and it was also hard because because of that. Like, and because we've never really traveled. Like I've never really been apart from them for this long. Like I've never. Um, it's like I think we kind of. It's like a new way of having to communicate, right? Like you have to find new ways to communicate. And I think for a few weeks there, I've been in Israel for about three weeks now. So like, yeah. So like um, for like two weeks there, maybe even three up until a few days ago, we kind of didn't talk. Like we called twice a day, but we didn't talk. And then we had therapy, family therapy, like a few days ago and that really helped. Um, completely like opened the doors and now we had a great conversation yesterday which makes me feel like so much closer to them uh yeah it's like those little things you know it's like what movie did you watch last night and like how did you wake up you know like all the what did you eat today like those little things that I miss um I'm playing with this lemon and it's very annoying uh yeah um but it's been good and don't get me wrong, there are upsides, of course, like, dude, of course there are upsides. Everyone knows there are upsides. I don't need to make this disclaimer, but I'm just talking about the downsides because I never freaking realized there were downsides. Like, I, I never realized it. And another one, those are, like, the main ones, um, but another one is also, like, if you go to somewhere that doesn't speak your language, um, this happened to me the first few days, like, it's, like, major, like language jet lag you know like I don't know every time I would go out even for like five minutes I would be exhausted because like my brain was working overtime to like speak this language and like I, Hebrew right that's the language because I'm in Israel um it's like like I've spoken it I've been speaking it ever since I was little like it's like my second language right but it doesn't come naturally to me now it comes more naturally to me it's actually cool to see how fast uh it comes back um, it's very cool and reading and writing now like it's, it's very cool to see how fast it comes back but it didn't for the first few days and it was exhausting but now I'm just rambling so I just wanted to say that and another thing is like I think it's completely normal so like if you're gonna travel I don't know who I'm talking to right now the, what shut up <laughs> I just wanted to share and also like 
I remember the first night I felt homesick, which was like pretty much the week, like uh, the week that, like on the day of, uh, Jesus Christ, after a week of I've been here, um, that wasn't English either. Uh, and it was at night because I saw one of my friends here that I usually see in America with my parents, and I think my brain made some sort of connection that they weren't there, and it was very sad, and I was crying. I felt so lonely, um, and I reached out to my cousin and to my therapist for help, and they both helped. They both, I got on a call with my cousin. My therapist couldn't because it was like morning, or it was the middle of the night for him, but I got on the phone with my cousin, and we talked about it, and it really, really helped, and so like I think I, th I that was a really positive thing for me because I think I've kind of learned how to ask for help and how to like take care of myself and how to know like when to ask for help you know like I feel like I know when I can handle it by myself and when I need help which is very cool um but yeah and you know it's also helpful I looked at my neighbors before I left are there neighbors and like super close family friends um they gave me an envelope full of like pictures of us from like our just pictures of them and pictures of me and them and pictures of me and my family and stuff like that and i was looking at those and i was sobbing it was like a scene from a movie it was actually kind of funny but uh i was very very sad because like dude i miss them and then i texted them but it was also the middle of the night for them so then you know they didn't text back until tomorrow until the next day but whatever um yeah and like uh I think that's all I wanted to say. Just that, like, oh, and also I think this is happens for me a lot. I'm, like, a super serious person. Like, I have to consciously make an effort to not take things so seriously, which I think there's a lot of people. I don't think it's just me. But, um, and my parents are usually the people that, like, balance me out. You know, like, my mom doesn't take things so seriously and we like laugh a lot together and my dad like knows which things to take seriously you know so they kind of like balance me out um and because I'm not with them I find myself like I can feel when I take things so seriously like it feels like my eyes can't open fully and like like my head just gets very heavy like my brain and like very foggy so like I felt like that pretty much the whole first like two weeks and then I told my mom that I forgot to eat for a day and she was like laughing, like dying laughing. And I was like, oh yeah, that's, that's pretty funny. Like, that's pretty funny, you know? And I think that really helps. Like having people that you tell little weird things to, you know, that like make them laugh and then make you laugh. And you don't, you don't have to take it so seriously. It's just, it's just life, you know? Um, yeah, so. I'm trying to do that more in my life now. Like, uh, well, there's fucking mosquitoes. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, I was in my room and <laughs> there was one mosquito and I swear I got bit like 15 fucking times. There's bites like on my ankles. There's bites like in my thigh, dude. It's disgusting. <laughs> ah, there's a bite. Ah, oh no, I'm itchy all over. Ah, okay, it's fine. I hate mosquitoes so much. Jesus Christ. Anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say, but maybe I'll update it. This is kind of a, not an organized scheduled video, but I think it's important to talk about because all the travel YouTubers that I talk about never really talk about that, or all the travel YouTubers that I follow never really talk about that. So, yeah, um, I think that's it. There'll be more videos soon of like what I'm doing. Um, I'm trying to think of video ideas because I don't really just want to, like, post, like, what I did this week. Like, I don't know. I think that's kind of boring. But I went to Pride, so maybe I'll post a video, a video about that. It wasn't that great, honestly. It doesn't, it's not really worth its own video, but uh, it was fun. Um, oh, and I'm going to Jerusalem this week, so there will be a video about that. Cool. Okay, peace out.